Well, uh, I'd like to firstly thank uh, Deputy Murray and O'Sullivan and, uh, for putting forward this uh, motion. I think that as one who remembers vividly uh, St Dimpton's Hospital in Carlow and the high walls that was around that so that no one could see in or out in relation to uh, the unfortunate people that were there and the stigma that was associated with people being signed in. And that was, in, in those days, was, was a regular feature to say a family has signed in their loved ones. And I mean the tragedy and the torment and everything else that had to go and be associated with such, such a, a public utterance of the fact that you were, were, the, the family wasn't in a position to care for or to look after uh, their, their loved ones was something that they had to put up with also within their own community. And as one who worked in the vicinity of St. Impenis, one can remember on a daily basis seeing the, the, the tractor going out to the farm and all those unfortunate to be piled on the back of it going out to do a day's work, going back at lunchtime, back in the evening time again. And no hope, I suppose the one thing that I can remember about those occasions was the fact that there was such dejection with those unfortunate people who uh, were in that. Many, of course, uh, was in a situation that their loved ones had maybe forgotten about them, others in the position that, for whatever reason, they were signed in, but in actual fact could, act, could uh, play a, an active role within their communities, but were never given the opportunity to do it. And it's that stigma, I think, that Still, uh, still around to a degree, and I have concerns in relation to what I see in my particular constituency, where we have low support and indeed high support community accommodation, because in many instances in relation to that, there is no linkage with those particular people. There is no one there to go and say, look, will you come to the cinema with me? There is no one there to go and say, look, will you go to the match with me? And I often wonder then why we as in, in, in the enormous communities. We talk about community, but yet are we involved with the community that, that's within us, that's crying out for help upon so many occasions in, in, in so many different ways. We can see upon occasions when those unfortunate people come into uh, our clinics and, you know, to give them the time and, and everything else that goes, that goes with it uh, to ensure that they feel wanted is something that we as elected representatives should look at. But I think also we as elected representatives should lead the charge in relation to involvement. And I think that the one thing that this debate should do is to create that word, involvement, that we shouldn't forget about them, irrespective of where they are, that we should do everything we possibly can to ensure that Age Action and all the other wonderful groups that are there, that we don't just talk about them, but that we as public representatives work with them. I, I say that, that uh, Deputy O'Sullivan has brought this forward. I think that we shouldn't. This shouldn't be something that's just once in the, once in the term uh, procedure. It should go back to the, the health committee. It should come back in here again, if necessary, if we feel that uh, the actions is not being taken. I fully support what Ka uh, Minister Kathleen Lynch has been doing and will do, and certainly uh, has the ability to do in relation to trying to work upon this, because it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing uh, problem within families. I remember upon one occasion when I went out socialising and I met with a famous singer and uh, I got to talk to him and uh, the amazing thing was he said that, you know, I'm in a difficult time. And I asked the question, why would you be in a difficult time? I was in the middle of summer, you know, early in July and, I, you know, the weather was good, everything was good. But he said, the problem I have now is that I could become a manic depressive person within the next two or three weeks. And the worry and concern he had, it was the most amazing thing, the worry and concern he has, would he have a happy Christmas? And he thought of that in July. And if he didn't get that out of his system and work it out, he says, he was manic depressive for the rest of the year. Mm. It was unbelievable to think that that just one question was able to put that man in such a position. So those are the challenges that's there for us, uh, last young Corla. We have a problem here. We should develop it, we should work with it, and we should ensure that organisations that we know 
that has a community base should widen that involvement and include people uh, in community uh, uh, accommodation that have been and have suffered in relation to being in mental institutions, but now have moved on. We should help them to move to the next stage. Thank you, Deputy.